the 6th of November, Craig Council decides to go to the Cubs, and this is what you look forward to all season long, having a packed house with these two teams clashing, and then suddenly there's a new twist in the mix. Craig Council coming back. It's going to be interesting to see how everything plays out. It's the rookie, Robert Gasser. Yeah, first three starts pretty good for him. The Brewers 3-0 and in his three starts. The last time out of no decision. And Nico Horner ready to dig in. Hot one on the ground on one hop. And that's how the afternoon begins for Robert Gasser on a 6-3 put out to Adamas. One away in the batter, Seiya Suzuki. There's a swing and a miss. Gasser with a fastball at 95. That adrenaline is pumping through his body already. And two up, two down with a strikeout, his first. Cody Bellinger coming up now. Bellinger sharply into center field, but right there is Perkins. And a good start for the kid. Justin Steele, so how good is he, has he been against the Brewers? Well, quite good. 11 starts, a couple of relief appearances, and a 2.24 ERA. Contreras putting together an MVP caliber season. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and Contreras is gone. Two real bad swings, cheating on a heater there, it looked like. Batter is Christian Yelich. And see you later. Back to back strikeouts. Willie Adamas, 244, sitting on seven home runs. And he hits Allen sharply in the left field, a base hit. Yeah, good to see Willie be able to find a hole. I mean, he had a pretty decent road trip, but hit the ball hard. Not a whole lot to show for it. It's kind of been the way the season's gone for Adamas. And he finds the outfield grass for Gary Sanchez. Swing and a miss. Sanchez is gone. And Justin Steele pitches around the single and strikes out three Brewers. Christopher Morrell will lead things off for Chicago. Working quickly. Struck him out swinging down low and inside with a breaking ball. Two are up, two are down. Here is the Cubs shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Struck him out swinging on a high fastball, and the inning is over. Joey Ortiz will lead things off. 285 for the Brewers third baseman today. Ortiz takes strike three call. One down, strikeout number four already for Justin Steele. And he has struck out every out thus far. And it will bring up Blake Perkins and the pitch. Struck him out swinging. Five strikeouts here in the early going. Top of the third inning begins with Ian Happ, the switch hitter. And a strikeout. He gets Happ. That cutter that time. Just one strike after another. This guy doesn't mess around. Here's Nick Madrigal, third baseman, two for two in that series against St. Louis. Gasser delivers this one lined and caught. Bryce Terang as high as he could leap, able to make the play and take a hit away from Madrigal. Nice play by Bryce Terang, lost out of the gold glove to Nico Horner at second base. Might be Bryce Terang's this year to lose. Amaya in the number nine spot. Trying to make it nine in a row here today and does so. Five strikeouts to the first nine hitters. Who says he's not a strikeout pitcher? <laughs> Third inning, first leadoff man on base for the Brewers in the game against Steele. Now it's Contreras. Ground ball on one hop. Swanson in and out of his glove. No play anywhere. It's a base hit. Hard hit ball by Contreras to shortstop. Swanson got a glove on it. Baseball didn't stick in there. And by the time he corralled it with a bare hand, Contreras was going to be safe at first base. And it's Christian Yelich. They got him picked off. Throw the third tag. Out there, throw to second, safe there. So the Brewers, who have been a very good base running team, run into an out on the bases. Yelich hits a pop fly shallow left, angling out Dansby Swanson, makes the catch. And that's out number two. And Willie Adamas with first base open coming up. Adamas pops it up, shallow right, backpedaling is the second baseman Horner on the edge of the outfield grass gloves it good pitching by Steele works out of a jam the first time through the order Gasser mystified the Cub hitters setting down all nine of them Allen laced into center field and Nico Horner the first hit of the game first base runner of the day for the Cubs it gives the Cubs their first hit possibly begins a rally as Seiya Suzuki makes his way to the plate popped up right side Long run Jackson Churio ball slicing Churio's there makes the catch right up against the line for out number one and a bouncing ball Ortiz nice backhand out at second throw to first not in time too much speed from Bellinger and he was two steps out of the batter's box when he made contact anyway first ball swinging a little pop up by Morrell Terang makes a call he's got it eight pitch inning last inning. Nine pitch inning here in the fourth. 0 oh 2, 1 and 2. Now we've said that a lot so far in this ball game. 
for both sides. Both pitchers have thrown a lot of strikes. Jake Bowers getting to start at first base. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Bowers, the seventh strikeout of the afternoon. Terang, a swing and a miss. Steal, eight strikeouts now through the game. Five shutout innings. We are still scoreless. Gasser continues to shine here. Gave up a leadoff single in the fourth inning. It's been the only base hit, the only base runner. Miguel Amaya coming up. Struck him out, swinging off speed. Another strikeout for Robert Gasser. What a game. Wow. And the pitch. Check swing bouncer, first base, fair ball. Inning over. Pitching, pitching, and pitching. Steal. Suzuki 0 for 2. Hit hard and through the left side. Base hit. Maybe that'll open the gates. Lead off single Seiya. Cody Bellinger coming up. Scoreless game. Line drive. Base hit in the right field. Suzuki will stop it second and it's back to back hits and the Cubs have something brewing pun intended. Looks like that's going to be it. So Pat Murphy will take the ball from his rookie. Another terrific showing though. Brian Hudson on the mound his 20th appearance. He has been lights out and Christopher Morrell coming up. And did he go? They will ask. He is gone. It's a strikeout. Trip Gibson called it himself. He went with a sweeper. Morrell couldn't hold up. So that's 14 strikeouts by right-handers on that particular pitch. Now it's wisdom. Broken bat pop up. Shallow right. Caught by Terang and as an infield fly was called for late. Wisdom's bat shattered. Two away. Two gone now. Still first and second. And here's Dansby Swanson. Hudson and out away from getting out of it. Hudson's pitch. Got him looking. A sweeper on the back door and Swanson is rung up. Hudson gets it done. Swanson still arguing. A 0-0 ball game. Bowers has an opportunity. One swing. He could totally flip the script on this game. Lifted to left. Shallow racing in. Ian Happ near the line. Makes a brilliant diving backhand catch. Sensational catch by Ian Happ. Great diving backhand grab. He rolled over and held on to that ball. What a play. Mark Leiter Jr. is on the mound for the Cubs. He's been one of Craig Council's best. Sal Freelick pinch hitting for Blake Perkins. In the air, right center, falling fast. It is down a base hit. Freelick with a big turn will retreat to first. It's a leadoff single. Sal Freelick delivers. So now Bryce Terang. Terang takes ball four. And he walks Bryce Terang, who's walked twice in this game, and now first and second, nobody out. Moment of truth here, eighth inning, and the Brewers' best hitter, William Contreras, coming up. Hits Allen hard, it's booted at third base by Magical, all in the left field. In to score is Freelick, and the Brewers have the lead here in the eighth. Probably should have been a double play ball. Oh, what a turn that one took. If Magical fields it, it's a double play easily. He kicked it right up his glove. They're on the corners of the Brewers looking for a big inning now. The 0 2 swing and a miss, and Yelich is out number one. So Leiter gets a big out of Yelich. And Craig Council on his way to make a pitching change. And now Hayden Wisneski is on the mound, the hard thrower. And now it's Willie Adamas. Nesky deals Adamas center field. Bellinger on the run. He looks up. Goodbye. A free run blast. Willie Adamas. Four to nothing Brewers. Cashed it in. His eighth home run of the season. Willie Adamas opens it up here to make it four nothing Brewers in the eighth. Now the pitching change comes back to bite the Cubs. Kind of surprised that Craig Council took light around with the splitter. What a bomb by William Dobbins. That's ball four, not even close. Jackson Churio, the eighth man to hit in the inning for the Brewers. Churio drives one right center. That is going to get down at the base of the wall. Ortiz off to the races. Throw to the plate, no chance. RBI double for Churio. Five to nothing, Brewers. And suddenly there are two men on. Wisdom nothing for three with a strikeout. Wisdom hits a high fly ball to center. Playable for Sal Freelick. And that's going to be out number two. Tagging and scoring is Suzuki. But now the Cubs are down to their last chance. And the pitch. Hit to left. Yelich, warning track. And this run is over. And the Brewers take game one. Final 
today. Brewers 5, Cubs 1.